Uh, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So I have been playing with contraptions since it dropped. Still got so much to learn, but it's so fun. Now I figured I'd start small. Um, you were actually going to get a video from yesterday, but by dint of the fact that I just... Well, you all know it already. It's such a complex DLC, but there's just so much in there. Um, I know obviously some people are disliking it because a lot of people just don't like building. Shit, I went on Reddit the other day and it was probably the worst decision I ever did. <laughs> Um, surprisingly positive in the comments actually in my videos, which is grand, but there are the occasional misery guts who just flat out don't like having fun. Anyway, so I thought I'd start with just a small video first on just some of the stuff that I've made. Well, one of the things that I've made with the box cars. Um, box cars are just. They remind me, the box cars and the, um, the scaffolding are the two parts that I'm kind of most excited for just by dint of the fact of just how much flexibility there is with it. Um, however, the other stuff is really cool. It's just, this is the stuff I'm probably going to use the most. Right, now if I can get this to actually work properly this time. So I'm going to snap this snap foundation on here. And then I'm going to... Like that. When I keep doing that before, my character kept stepping backwards and moving it. Um, now the reason why I've left those bits and those bits, it's just that I can just snap this back on here like this. So make sure I get it around the right direction, because obviously that's also the wrong one. Exciting times. Snap on, you bastard. There we go. No. There we go. Right, grand. So the reason being is because as you saw, you can actually snap things to the front of the box car there. Instantly, actually, even though I'm not going to do this, you can actually, um, like, snap that on. I mean, obviously, it still doesn't... I think it actually probably slightly doesn't... Oh, no, it does. Yeah, it's pretty centered. It doesn't look ridiculous like if you were on the trailer, which is pretty cool. However, that's not the point of the build right now, but you could basically turn these into little vaults if you wanted. So... Yeah, they're, they're similar to the trailers, basically. They're slightly better versions of the trailers. Don't, don't, calm down there, Treacle. Calm down. Just having a bit... Just, just give it a moment here. Just having a bit of a... There we go. The reason being a sense here. Because that way I can snap that onto that. But I still have a little bit of a foundation underneath. Right, now. I said, this is kind of slightly a variation of the shops I've done before. Or at least the... The same style of shops I've done before, but quite simply put, it's just such a... That's how a shop looks, yeah? Shop. Shut your face. Plus, I like my style. Now, these ramps... Oh, I love them so much. The good thing about the ramps, other than the fact that... I haven't got this one straight yet. Is, um, they're quite flexible. Watch this. So, I can just grab it like this. Now, watch how close... I can place it into that foundation before it goes red. I can I can actually have it quite far in. This is the reason being, basically, is you can actually put these as snug as you want without actually having to use the pillar glitch, which I do love so much, but obviously it would be good if we didn't have to use it. Um, that looks quite nice. Now, I want to put the front of the shop on first. We're gonna have a little bit of detail. This is one. This is one little build because I want to do a small video, um, because I'm just, I'm just losing time. <laughs> um, learning how to do this. The worst thing about having a video where you kind of a YouTube channel where you upload quite often, and then you get a new piece of DLC. But unlike you know, like me, I want to kind of give you guys a good video, not just you know, five minutes of me speeding through everything, um, and make something that looks good. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. Uh... <laughs> It's alright though, I do make fun stuff. After the weekend, you're good. The weekend I'll have learned everything that I can, uh... But right now I'm like, quickly Davey, be creative. Practice, you little shit. Um... Right, let's pop that there like that. So that's gonna be... Basically the back entrance, uh, the back part right there is where, obviously, the furthest... Um, wow, the entrance to the person's little trailer shack. This is the front. Now you can leave it like that if you like. Obviously said this is kind of quite similar to the bus build that I actually did. However, I quite liked my reverse. And you can even actually snap another prefab on this if you want, but um, that's crazy talk. We don't want to do that. 
However, what I would like to do is I really am quite liking this reversed junk fences. I think it just looks really, really nice, and it just... Well, that's just it, really. It looks all right. No, it adds quite a lot of character to the side of the building. Get in there, you little prick. Are we good? Are we... Ooh, look at that. What first time. I've been having a bit of less good luck. Less good luck? Poor... Not so... I've not been so lucky with a rug glitch recently. Occasionally, it's not working. Also, me doing the rug glitch means, again, I can remind people that it still works. <laughs> still get those messages. Look, basically, I'm going to add this in now. If the rug glitch ever gets patched, or any of the glitches that I use regularly will get patched, I will tell you. Okay? So if I haven't said it, chances are it's not been patched yet. Or I'm sleeping, and it just happened to be patched when I was sleeping. I do get it a lot. A lot, that goddamn question. Not as much as I used to, though. I think people have started to accept the fact that it's not going anywhere. Come here, you. That looks pretty good so far. It's, it's, it's very similar, but it's, it's similar to what I've done before, except using these kind of new items that we've been given. Uh, so it's a slight variation. But the good thing is, is because it's a lot more... I was wondering, can we go up there? We can't. Um, but it's a lot flatter on the roof as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make um, a little funky roof part to this as well. Right. So now initially my idea... Um, when we're doing the top level was to kind of build a little foundation, um, a little scaffolding thing around the side and then just kind of like build it over it. But to be honest, the problem is, is that's just so massively unreliable um, and it's just so much easier just to build something complete and then just kind of glitch it in as such. Um, so let's... Let's do so. I'm not going to make... keep this kind of reasonably short. We're still building to get a foundation except we're not actually... I mean, uh scaffolding but we're not actually yeah love thank you but we're not actually gonna we're gonna build the whole thing basically and then plop it in now scaffolding floors are really really crap in a lot of ways they're good in a lot of ways but they're also really bad because the fact they need to have the space in between them, you may notice they don't actually snap on to... Because they need the poles. That's that's why there's a gap, basically, between the scaffolding floors. So... It's a little bit annoying at times to kind of snap scaffolding to something. You can... But it's a pain in the knob, basically. But you can get it in there. So let's make something kind of just, just, just we'll just make a little building. Let's make it We need to check the height first though. Check the width rather. The width. We need to check the width. So it's going to be two across. Grand. Okay, cool. But if we put the scaffolding parts on the edge, we should be good to go. Ah, there we go. Ah, okay, I get it. So basically, you're probably going to be better off just snapping the boards to our uh, boards on first, and then kind of attaching the scaffolding parts on afterwards. Okay. Nope, wrong one. Let's make a little thing out. Let, let, let's use a little bit of the... Huge and flippy chair, but actually, if we're gonna do it, let's use the funky floors and make it look cool. Um, I'm just gonna make it for a cross. I assume that is a decent number. I thought someone says that they look the same. Shut up. Shut your fucking face. Right, then let's make the scaffolding on the side. I just wanted something on the top. It doesn't really necessarily have to be something... Oh, yeah, of course. Insta. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily be something massively 
um, complex, just just a platform for your character to kind of, or, or your settlers, whoever's there, to just kind of feel like maybe they've not just literally just done what I've done, which is slapped a, <laughs> slapped something on the side of a box car. Because that would be boring and crap. And who wants to be boring? Not me. If you are having trouble putting the scaffolding frame, just raise the whole thing up again. So now we need some kind of small structure. Something, just something really tiny. I would use the glass, but I don't actually have much um, in the way of uh, glass left, so I can't do that. Well, I can use a little bit of it, can't I? Actually, let's just do that afterwards. Okay, so next we need to pop the actual structure in. Now, this is where we can get a little bit hazy and or pear-shaped. Ah, the reason why is we need to lower the damn thing down. And lower that down. And this allows us to raise that up without any or too much. See, it, it looks just works better because it allows you to kind of like guarantee the shape a little bit. Now, personally, I want it as close as I can. Just because it looks better. Yeah, there we go. See, it's already starting to kind of add a little bit more... A um, little bit more texture, a little bit more shape to the side of it. Let's just kind of quickly rush something up because I don't want to use up too much of your time. Also because I want to see what the referendum results are, which means I need to go buy some caffeine. Let's quickly grab... Let's have an actual ramp ramp, shall we? A rampy ramp. Like that. I do like this scaffolding. Every time I use it, I'm starting to kind of learn... Um, a different way of using it and kind of a uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with what you can do with this shit it's, it's quite exciting stuff there's so much you can do um, and these ramps as well are just fantastic like it just looks so great okay so there we go we've got this little thing at the top. Let's just quickly pop something in. As I said, this is just me just kind of using up some items. So let's make something a little bit more low down. I can't really stuff on those stuff. Can I? Yeah, I've got an idea. We'll make similar to a shape, a little kind of um, canopy. There we go. And then we'll fall down. It'll be all exciting, very fun. excuse to use these so hopefully they work. Do they work? Yeah they work. <laughs> um I've wanted an excuse. Are they too Oh look at that Look at it That's amazing. So I've just been trying to find an excuse to use these for absolutely ages. Come on love Come on Tariko I'm well aware they're going green, by the way. I just keep missing it. Are you are you fucking shitting me? I can't catch it. Um, this is my life, by the way. Fuck it. Anyway. Me finish them. I'm gonna have to finally finish these from the side. Either. But basically, this is my little plan. It's like a little wooden tent thing, canopy thing at the top where people hang out. For God's sake, I'm gonna have to fucking finish, aren't I? 
because I want to decorate it now. Right, so what we do is we're having this little nightmare with something. Little Davy pro tip. Just plop a fucking floor down. <laughs> I don't think even it knows why it was doing that. It just wanted to feel special. It knew it was on camera. It was getting a bit nervous. You know how it is. You know how it is. Fuck off. Right, there we go. Beautiful. So, let me get some daytime. Let me add a little bit of decoration to this. And then you guys can see kind of the end result. And see what the kind of potential you can make with just literally fucking around like we've been doing. One sec. Right, so here is it. Here, here it is in the daylight. I'm really pleased with this. Just something that we just kind of whipped up. Um, incidentally, those mannequins. <laughs> I no longer need to hunt down for a settler to man my shops when I'm trying to do a tour. <laughs> oh, I can never bloody find anyone. So, but it just—it's just like the flexibility. This is like pretty much university, I think, with the exception, obviously, maybe like the the tables and stuff and maybe little bits this is universe this is using all of the new stuff and it just oh, i love it and also incidentally how great is nordhagen looking already you've got that there you've got the church of todd over there and now you've got the bar of todd um which i couldn't think of a name for incidentally bar of todd sounds pretty good right so um i will be doing kind of more i'll be getting to actually doing some actual full-on guides in terms of how to use the you know excuse me don't you know how to use scaffolding and how to use um, the the machinery and also the weird little um, contraption parts um, over the weekend. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I might do another video like this tomorrow or maybe potentially one of these, but I'm going to try and do another video as well for Friday. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. Um, any interesting videos you find or any interesting stuff, I'm definitely intrigued to see what people have come up with because uh, it's because there is so much weird and wonderful and crazy shit for us to find um there's the stuff that i'm not going to figure out for absolutely ages i do ask again that you don't send me youtube videos and you send me pictures and those 30 second twitter videos just because if you send me a youtube video it's a chance i'm not going to watch it um unless my boss doesn't happen to be around or you know i'm in a lunch time or i get home and i just happen to remember to watch it um because by the time i get home i end up getting dozens of them Right, anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.